Hi, Joel Rollins here, day three of Infocom 2016, and you'll have to pardon my voice is getting a little hoarse, but I am here with Fabian Stumpfel of Stumpfel. <laughs> so thank, welcome to the Morning. show. Thanks for being with us. Talk to us a little bit about, uh, last time I talked, I talked to your brother Tobias in mm -hmm. February, uh, and there was a whole lot of exciting things ha happening at Stumpfel. Why don't you give us an update? Uh, in the meantime, we have uh, continuously uh, developed further our product. Um, at this time, we have the 8K display on our booth, which shows the capability of our Wings Engine RAW, which is now the premier for the US market. And that one plays out four 4K streams right. with 60 frames. Four, four streams? Four times 4K, so real 8K at 60 right. frames per second, uncompressed. Uh, we're now launching the Wings Player, that is a, I would say, a small but solid state media player. Uh, that's probably the most budget version for fixed installations, uh, which is a world premiere. Uh, then we have the Wings Avio and the whole suite of full HD player, uh, that is mainly used for signage applications and museums, themed attractions. So the Wings player is programmed using Wings, and for those of you who haven't seen Wings, you, you really should, uh, especially those of you who do large shows. It's programmed using Wings, but then you can take Wings away and just use the player? Uh, yes, you can, uh, but the, the software always comes with the player. Right. So the Wings player is, is then the, the lower end of, the, of our segment, and it can play out one... Uh, one 4K stream or uh, a couple of Full HD signals. Okay, that that that's that's great, especially for those of us who are doing larger installations. I'm mm -hmm. actually right now doing an 8K video wall, uh, so actually I'm going to have to make some time to come by and look. <laughs> so what else is new? I mean, Stumpful's an interesting company because in the United States we largely thought of you for a long time for screens. Mm -hmm. And and it wasn't until only a couple of years ago that I saw Wings, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, so so screens and one of the most advanced show scripting systems there is out there, that uh, that evolution has to be really interesting. What's new on the screen side? Uh, on the screen side, we we've now introduced uh, our product full wide curve, which is the further development and the combination of full wide, which most of you probably know, mm -hmm. and our custom-made curved screens. And this one is just awesome to look, and we have combined that with our Wings product, because as we're projecting on a curved screen, you end up with the problem of do the warping and the soft edge. Right, and sure. And there our uh, camera calibration is just as time-saving as it can get. So that means our setup, we've done there with four 4K projectors from DP, um, that only takes around five minutes to do that setup, although it's a total resolution of 8,000 by 4,000 pixels. Let me take you backwards in that statement for a moment, Fabian. Uh, custom curved screens. Mm -hmm. Through, I, I didn't realize that you fabricated custom curved screens. I had no idea, and, and I've known your company for quite some time. So, at what sizes? Um, almost any size. So. That always has been our specialty, that we do not only do um, regular sizes or standard sizes. Uh, we actually have standard sizes only for our price list, to let people know what the price of the different sizes are. But in fact, any custom size in between those uh, sizes, the price also will be will match in between. So we don't charge any additional cost if, if it's a custom-made screen. And the same happens with a curved screen. It's, uh, we can do it from three meter radius up to any radius. Okay. And the largest one we've done recently is almost 40 meters wide. I don't think enough people in this country know about that. I really don't, I, because I, I had no idea. Um, and and you, for a custom one, you don't charge, it's by size, and you don't charge extra for the fact that it's custom? Exactly, yeah. Or okay, let let me repeat that. <laughs> that that's that I, I've actually never heard of that. Oh really? I I have and and again I I run an integration company. I buy the occasional mm. custom curve screen. I didn't know. The reason for this may, might be the fact that we are 
a company that mainly consists of people that work in research and development, so soft and hardware engineers on the middle server side, and uh, great workers that do the, the projection of screens and the design of it. Um, and we don't have lots of marketing. There's only one person that does marketing at Ewig Stumpfel. So we always think we try to make our product as good as possible and people will find out themselves what great product this is. Sometimes, especially with the media servers, you just need to show people and that's the lesson we learned in the last years that this is really necessary to not only have the great product but also talk about it and tell everybody. For those of us who haven't seen it then you should stop by, what's the booth number? Oh. C something, C3847. Okay, your, your publicist is off screen here. <laughs> Katinka, what's the booth number? C6487. C6847. Folks, it's C6847. And those of you who follow my column for staging really need to take a look at Wings. Uh, and for those of you who are coming up from my company today, Take a look at the custom curve screen thing and stop and talk to Fabian. Fabian, thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you for your time.